we should cry out to Jesus in times of storms in our life rather than questioning. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today's gospel speaks about Jesus calming the sea when his disciples were afraid of the storm. By calming the sea, the Lord proves that he is in control of everything and even the natural forces are under his control. In that sense, the Lord is in control of us too. Therefore, from today's gospel, we can learn three lessons. Firstly, when follow Jesus, we may go through the storms of life. Storms in our life may come in the form of loss, sorrow, sickness, suffering, failure, or disappointment. Saint Paul tells us in his letter to the Romans, We live in a sin-cursed fallen world, and decay and disease and death are of this world. And therefore, in this world we face difficulties, sufferings, and even death. In such situation, my dear friends, we should not judge God's love based on the circumstances of our life, but rather we should judge God's love based on the cross of Jesus Christ, who died on the cross out of love which He has for each one of us. And secondly, we should cry out to Jesus in times of storms in our life, rather than questioning. We see in today's Gospel, the disciples of Jesus were desperate and shouted at the top of their lungs, saying, Save us, Lord! Being experienced fishermen, they knew that they needed God and they cried out to Jesus, and Jesus hears their cry. Therefore the psalmist says, When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. And finally, we must have faith in God in times of hardships and difficulties, rather doubting His presence. Often it so happens in our life that we doubt God's presence in the moment of difficulties, saying, Where is God? If He loves me, why He has given me this difficulty? But in reality, my dear friends, God does not allow us to be tested beyond our capacity. He is truly with us even in our difficulties, for He is a God who loves us unconditionally. But through these storms in our life, at times He makes our faith strong in Him. Today, as we reflect on this Gospel, let us pray that our faith may not be weak in the moment of storms in our life. Amen.